If I remember, I also explained to you the use of help function, the Dell Media Directory, and then uh, um, the, the help function. Did I do that? Yes, uh, the, the directory, the list, the help, right? Help. You mentioned it, but uh, I don't quite, as I said, it was mm -hmm. a tough time trying to keep awake and then follow. Because I was really tired on the Monday. Uh -huh. But I remember at least the directory and the, and the list change directory. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The help, I think you mentioned, but I, I don't remember uh -huh, the details or how to use it now. Okay. So uh, let's continue. Okay, so I will have this. So I think for now we already know if I want to start my interpreter. Okay, that's the Python interpreter. If you want to start, you type the keyword. When you open your PowerShell, you type the keyword Python or in small letter okay uh, okay please the partial uh the partial we didn't install the partial right did we no partial comes with windows windows, windows. Uh -huh. so i just type powershell there in the okay you've seen it now Yes, but people. when I yes, yes, I've done that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you type the keyword Python and then you hit enter on your keyboard. Okay. So once oh, okay. you do that, interpreter will come. Okay. And you know you see the version of Python that you can store. Sure. But well, please, so one one question. What is the PowerShell? What is it? Okay, PowerShell is for Microsoft. Okay. Okay. In, um, uh, initially, Microsoft um, was using a command prompt, CMD. Okay. Okay. But the CMD basically work with uh, Microsoft. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now, what it came with, like, I've opened CMD, if you can see, CMD, command prompt. Okay. If you can see this. A minute, please. I don't... Is that, please say again. I'm saying that before Microsoft was used to what we call CMD, that is command prompt. Okay. If I if I go to here and I type CMD, just for you to run command, you can see here, CMD okay. command prompt. Okay. okay. Now, this one deals with only Microsoft command. So for instance, if I want to type something like Dell, this Dell, this Dell simply means directory, okay? Okay. Now, Microsoft came out with PowerShell that has the same similarity with Linux. Okay. So with PowerShell, you can write, you can run a Linux command. Okay. But with normal CMD, like a command from here, you can run Python command. So for instance, if I if I type in Dell, Dell is directory. You can see a directory. So it will just yeah. give me all my directory. 
get points every thing to do. Now, I can use the same thing here. I can use the same thing here. So, at the at the power show uh, here. Okay. Now you can see yes. that this one will work the same way. I can see there. Okay. Now, Windows, if I want to clean all this piece, I can just type clear. This is clear like this. This clear, I can use this one in line, liners. So when I hit okay. it to clear this, it's clear this. See that it's clear. Mm. Now let's do yeah. I will type clear. This is CMD. Yeah. You see that it says that clear is not what recognized as what yeah. internal external command. So Microsoft use CLS. Okay. Okay. Clear. So what? Let me come in uh, so that you, I think, say uh, you understand the way I want to go. I mm -hmm. intend to go with a long haul for this experience. Mm -hmm. In fact, I want to become an expert in Python and then AI, machine learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that case, mm -hmm. it means I have to get a very strong foundation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm giving myself like a, the next three years to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it means it is not just learning, then I can be able to code, but to be able to understand why we do this, why we do this. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So there, I just want you to bear that in mind so that, because I realize sometimes, I don't know whether I'm a bit slow or you say something and then maybe you, you assume that I should understand it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But then if I can really get the, the backbone so that I'll really develop myself very well and then understand why this is that, why this is it. Because uh, the goal is to set up a, a software company. Mm -hmm. I maybe be, be, will not be doing maybe the back end, front end coding. But then when they are doing it, I should understand why they are, yes. doing, they are doing that. So that if I want something to, I want to develop an app or something. Uh, we want to tell them that no, let's do it like this because this is this. I know this is possible. I don't know whether you 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 get it. So actually, that is the goal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That I think that is fine. Okay. So um, what we'll be doing is uh, that is what I also stand for. Okay. I don't believe in maybe yes i come up with a project and we just focus on the project but you don't understand a lot of things okay it's better to go through step by step and explain you have the time exactly what this means and why we do this okay we'll discuss it later. my wife seems to be interested so maybe you i'll discuss with her and then we'll see <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how you get me? Yeah. Okay. So with this, with this in mind, now Microsoft just wants to counter. So those who are, um who love working with Linux, most people in Linux when you go there, you doing a lot of command kind of stuff. Mm. So oh, okay. we still love uh, to use Microsoft in addition. Okay. So for me, here, you can see here, I have LS. Now, LS simply means list. Okay. List. Okay. If I do LS, you can see here, this one will tell me LS is not recognized. Okay. That is, LS is a Linux command. LS. This yeah. is Linux. If I'm in line, mm -hmm. Linux, <laughs> but this LS, this one doesn't understand LS. Okay. So how do we solve that? 
So now power so I can type LS, even though I'm in Windows. Can type mm. Then you can see here, it just lists everything for me. Okay. Wow. Mm. Okay. It is if I want to see change, this is all change directory. Like maybe yeah. I want to change my directory and whatever. Okay. So if I change my directory here, you can see that my directory is here. I want to move to desktop. I can do CD desktop. Okay, so CD desktop will link me to my desktop. Okay, so you can see here when I type LS, it doesn't work. Okay. But if I type Dell, Dell seems to be in the directory. It will Okay. But then if I move to PowerShell, I can still use Dell. Okay. I can type LS like this. Yeah. To clear. I can still use list here. Okay. You can see that I've listed everything. I can use yeah. Claire. This is for Linus. So you can see that it still works here. I can yeah. use this. That is this is the directory. Yeah. Okay. You see that it still works. Okay, so it makes those who love Linus when they come here, they can still use their Linus command. With command the Windows. Yeah. Okay, so you don't need to know that okay. This is how Windows command work because they are not used to Windows. So Microsoft saw that he was losing the uh, the market to mm. like uh, one of most of the servers that you do, most of them are built on Linux. Linux. Most mm -hmm. of the servers they are built on Linux, and so now Microsoft came with this one this visual studio code and mm. you already know that doesn't most of the things microsoft things are proprietary okay it's not free microsoft does not believe in open source okay okay but microsoft came with open source the vs code is an editor which is open source mm. okay but then they made it in such a way that you can use your liners you can do so if i come here if i come here i can i can select my uh liners command here let me show you you can see here terminals everything you can see here this is the power show then when i click here you can see that i can change this one to a different here you can see here power show i can have Git bash, Git bash here yeah, work with Mac and stuff. So you can see you are already Mac. Okay, you can see that and the Linus. So I want to have the feel of Linus with the bash. So you can see here I will move to the the command. Then my this thing is taking time. So. Okay, so just taking time to load, but then what what I what I wanted to let you know that because of this, I can see here this is command prompt. Okay, so this is what yeah. we are doing. This is the PowerShell, and this is the Git Bash. Okay, so mm. Git Bash, pure Linux. Okay, so I can have access to that. This is JavaScript. So if I want to go into that, I could be able to. So now it, it's now showing. You can see here the dollar sign. So here I'm purely in Linux. Okay. okay. But I'm still using Windows Mesh. Okay. So you can see the dollar sign here showing here. So if you have a Linux or Mac and go to the terminal, you could be able to. So I could find my command and everything 
even if I, as if I'm in Mac, I'm using Mac or I'm using a line of speech. Okay, so that is the essence. Microsoft wants to win back the, the community that he has mm -hmm. lost. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you see PowerShell, it simply means that just give you access for you to run other open source uh, oh, okay. uh, interface. Okay, so in the same thing, like you are using the command prompt, this one, but just the command prompt is purposely for Microsoft. So, certain command might not work. So, for me, I'm not interested in the command prompt. Okay, so what we want to use is to concentrate on the PowerShell. Which give us access to do certain things, maybe sure. using the like. Okay, I'll be clear. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. So today we will focus. Though I believe you be able to um, activate your interpreter. I've been able to. Work. Activate your interpreter, like oh yes, yes, your interpreter. yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, um, post on this. Okay. So now I want us to look at help the help the directory. So this is the Dell. You can see the Dell that we were using the Dell. So you can write the Dell in your program. Okay, so Dell simply means directory. This one, G-I-R, simply means directory. So it's a function that can help us to look at the directories within Python. Maybe we want to check what uh, a function or what a class look like and all those, what a package look like. So we use this one to check. So please, so, let me come in with a question again. So if you say directory, right? Is it like okay, uh, the Python to make it things easier? They have more like, like semi big a lot of things there, like templates or structures in there. Are they the, the directory? Uh come again. So what I'm saying is that if you say directory like a telephone direct in the old days. So they print a phone directly and they go to call somebody. You go and pick it, search for the name. So it's like a semi big thing so that you don't struggle. Or like a phone directly. Is it the same thing? Okay, okay. So when we say directly, okay, simply means you're talking about uh, location. Okay, okay, so for instance, yeah. when I was here, mm -hmm. I'm saying that location like direction. Location. Okay, okay, so yes. If, I'm, yes, if I'm here, if I'm here and I want to check the directory, so I can say, I always saw that I was um, using this, I was using the CD. Do you, do you understand this? Yes, change the direction. Change directory, okay. Change, change directory change. or direction. Directory, directory. Directory, yes. Okay, so change directory, okay. Directory. Did you get it? Yes. Okay, so change directory means that I want to change my folder directory got to do with your folder, your folder locations and stuff where your files are being kept. Okay, so if I say okay. CD, CD desktop, okay, so now I'm changing my directory. Now you can see that here I'm at what C user and the username. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to move from this username here and go to my desktop. So when I do this, now you can see that I'm on my desktop here. 
So you can see here. This is a mm, so it's showing you where have. things are arranged in, in a way. Where do you have? Yeah, so now you directed to the directory. So what they are also saying in phone directory, do you get it? It's like your phone okay. folders. Okay, where you can yes. get your phone contact. Okay. So now here, if I'm here and I, I just type, maybe I want to open this folder. Remember yesterday we created this folder. Yes. EMC underscore name. So I can yes. say that the chain directory to P M C underscore new. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will change the directory. Okay. So now if I want to see that, do I have anything inside? I can do LS. But LS this is a Linux command. So LS means list. Okay. So I want to see what I have in my directory. Now you can see that, that this is what yesterday we did. We created a file for hello world, if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, please, so this is uh, a minute again. When I did a CD PMC that's new, no? mm -hmm. it took me to CD, cannot find pass because it does not exist. No, first you need to go to your desktop. Okay, you do CD desktop first. Were you, were you able to get to your desktop? Uh, no. So, but, but you own. I see cd pmc dot new before it took you to the desktop. Okay. Now watch. I'll go back to where I was. Okay. So we can we can see what I'm doing. So now the first thing is I will do cd. So now I want to move back. The so cd dot take me back. Okay. So now what this where this is where I started. Okay. So now I move backwards. CV dot dots. Okay. So I believe you are here. Are you here? Uh, Is a... Yes, I did a Python. So maybe cd cd user okay you know what let me stop share, share your screen with me so that i can see what is that hey. <laughs> now now that's where the challenge was why <laughs> you know why uh -huh. because I'm doing it on my uh, Windows, and then we are sharing this on the Mac. So if I share, I'm sharing the Mac to which I'm not practicing. So let Mac, me open the Mac laptop. Mac laptop, yes. So let me open a new PowerShell. So I'm there now. So you can go back. I've opened a new. I close the PowerShell. I've opened it again. So it is new again. Oh, okay. Oh, baby, you were using the the interpreter one. If that's what yes. you were, it won't work. Do uh, that. If we are using the interpreter here, uh, this one will not work because at this point we are not in the PowerShell mode. We move to Python mode. If you can see. Okay. Oh, okay. So, CD. Okay, and then nothing will work here. Do you get it? So okay, please can you share your screen so that I can see? Okay. Uh -huh. So I've opened a new PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, 
and what is there is install yeah. the for new. Were you using this thing where we have the interpreter? Is that what we? I think so. Yeah, here it will not work. So if I want to use here, first thing you need to exit here first. Okay, you need to exit here before you can use that. So when you exit, it, it will now give you your C, the user, the user. So mine is giving me users, public user. User. Public user. Because I think I've not stored mine under Kim. You know, I've not labeled my king or something. So it gives me PC. That one doesn't matter. Okay. So All what right. you need to do is that you can do CD. Then we change the directory to CD. That change directory to my desktop. Oh, okay. Okay. So now you need to go to your desktop. So this one will link you to your desktop. Okay. So oh, okay. now you can do that. I'm now on my desktop, so you can see user. Yes, CD. yes, I'm I'm following. I've done that. Uh -huh. Now you can do LS, where you see that the content on your desktop. Okay. Oh, okay. So the okay, LS is so list, right? List, yes. List. So I've seen all the things on my desktop now. Okay. So now you can see that the folder that yesterday we created was. PMC underscore new. Yes. Okay. So I can see that. We want yeah. To open that folder, which is CD, that is chain directory, and the folder name. Okay. So mm. that is going to. So I'm changing that to, to that one that you want. PMC yeah. underscore new. Mm. Yes. Okay. So once you are done, you hit enter. Yeah. So now this will change us to that. Okay. So I can do LS and then you'll see that I'm in this. You can see I only have one bar. Mm. Which is what? Yeah. Hello world. The hello world. I've done that. So I also okay, have so but I have two because we did yeah. that hello world point dot py dot text and then we did a correct one. So it has listed it. Yeah, you, yeah. you have to you have yes. to so so to change directory, you see the change directory, and then I can also okay. make directory. So to make a directory, you can say make mk means make and make. then okay. directory. Directory will be DIR, which is the directory. So make directory. Okay. Okay. So one more thing. When you are typing this, what is the term for these things? LS, CD. What's the name for these ones? What is the name this for command? What? Command. Is it command prompts or like this, like LS, uh, CD? What is the name for this short, short course? Because these I realize are when you are putting them together, they are what? These are command, command. Good. So for the commands, you put them together, right? But I realize make direct, you didn't create any space. You just put all together, make direct. Yeah, these are LS is just a command. Okay. 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 So MK is a command. That it will do something. So when okay. you call M, just a command to tell computer to do something. So okay. MK command in order to tell the computer to do something. So okay. when the LS means that it should list all folders within okay. that within that directory where it is now, it should list the directory for that's yeah. what I mean. And when I say MK, MK simply means that make directory. So maybe I want to create a new folder. Directory simply means folder. Okay. Yeah. So I can say uh, my folder name will be maybe Ken. That is the folder name I want to create. So that will, should be different from the who make or make is a yes. command. Space, yes. then okay. 
want to your command and then the, what you want the command to do you always have yes. to separate it but if it's a command and it's even three commands you have to put them yes. together to, okay. yeah depending on what they are doing, we are doing. Okay. so yes. now if i hit enter now you see that i've created another another folder which is kim if you can see yeah okay so now if i do ls you could see that i have a file this is a file and then i have a folder which is key. yeah so if for instance i want to open this folder i can say cd which is kim so i'm saying if you open the kim folder that is this so now you can see that kim folder is empty there's nothing in there because i just created it yeah okay and then you can also close that okay so if i want to close this thing i would i will just type in uh cd dot dots so maybe move step two step back that's what it means mm -hmm. uh, yes backwards. okay so now you can see that i'm already in there in the yes. liners uh rm so so it depends on exactly what you are doing okay so it depends on exactly what you are doing so now you can see that here i say remove directory remove directory means that delete the folder so okay. rm remove. and remove. what do you want okay so now you can see that when i do ls check that the folder i just created wasn't there mm. okay yes so yes. Both these are command that you can so what i'm doing here if i move to liners i will, I will still do the same thing okay, oh, okay. Ah, so that is that is so when you say directory it simply means that it just a folder so the oh, okay. Device inside. Okay. okay. I hope, I hope it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. So now we can type our Python. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay, so now in programming, when you see here, we want to, the hashtag, this hashtag that you see here, it simply means comment. Okay. Mm. So when so, you, you know, I mean, so I mean, so, so when I was going back, you know, I did CL. But then it's mentioned the term here is not really recognized as the name of a command let function speed this one. You so want to I do C L D R. The term is not recognized. So no, it has back to, it it back. You want to I wanted to go back to no, I think I'm fine now. Let me just do the Python. Okay, I'm fine. I think I'm at where you are now. Okay. Okay. So now when i have this one this simply means comment okay the hashtag when you have a hashtag is it comments say, to make a comment yeah, yeah to make a okay comment. so when python see this it ignore whatever is there just see that there's a comment so it could be a guide it could be a note or something so python will not run this one okay so for okay. instance, I can just give a comment like help because I want us to look at help. So help function. So help function. Then we saw the the directory, the dev. 
okay and then we also have time okay so if i hit enter nothing will compare to see this ones i just comment comment mm. hashtag if this one was in there like to throw an error okay yeah okay now the next thing we have to look at is that every every program or every software okay there's what you call a place where you can what keep what data okay yeah sure. sure okay now somebody may ask you you are learning programming what is what is maybe programming or what is coding so in the first instance what will, it, what will come in mind is that you know that computer understand one thing and the one thing is just a, com a command okay yeah. computer understand command but just a little computer do this do this so programming all that we are doing is to learn how to give instruction to computer system to perform a task or to execute a task okay and that instruction is a, is command because you know instruction is command okay so we are going to learn how to instruct a computer to perform a task okay sure okay but then to give that instruction you need to ask yourself in what medium am i going to give that instruction to the computer system okay so what we we'll see that that medium is what we are using is python okay so we have decided to use the python platform to give an instruction to a computer system to perform a task okay so there are different platform that we could have used example we have c plus plus we have uh we have c, java we have java we have vb.net we have php they are all different platform that we can also use to give an instruction to a computer system to perform a task okay yeah. so now if i'm going to use python now every language there is a rule that covers that language for it if i'm speaking this english language has its own set of rules that govern the language okay so in english we use the term for grammar okay. so this grammar is just a set of rules that you need to follow in order to communicate well okay so the schools they teach grammar it's part of the course that we normally go through okay so yeah. in the same way if for instance you are not able to construct a good sentence sometimes the teacher will tell you that it's a grammatical error okay sure. so when it comes to programming like the python that we want to use it's also follow the same rule because it's the same language that we are going to use okay so yeah. that language is what we learn in python if there is a rule it also has its own so in Python, instead of me saying grammar, we call it syntax. Okay. okay. So we are going to learn the syntax. Okay. We are going to learn the syntax of Python. Okay. So that is yeah. what we will be learning the Python language. Okay. And the rule that govern Python we call syntax rule okay 
So we will learn how other programming languages like Java, PHP, they are also good that govern that. So if you want to learn that, you need to learn that. But there okay. is something that is common to all of them, whether Python, Java, PHP, all this language, Perl, all this language, there's one thing that is common to all of them. Okay. Example, variable. They all use a variable. They all use yeah. data type. Okay. So if I learn data type in Python, when I move to Java, it's still data type. Okay. Oh, okay. If I learn, if I learn we call um, what we call um, arithmetic. Okay. Whatever that you learn is the same thing there. We have the if condition, that is the clauses, okay? If yeah. condition, when you learn those conditions, when you go to um, Python or uh, Java, is the same. Okay. But the difference is how you write the code, okay? That is the center that is govern that platform that you need to follow, okay? So, yeah. That's basic things that we will be doing. So if I violate a rule that is governing Python, then you see that Python will throw an error. That is syntax error. So we'll be learning how to solve those errors. So once we start learning, we we'll get to appreciate how to solve those errors. So when those errors come, you don't run away from them. You just look at what caused that error and you need to fix it. Okay. Sure. If I'm going to declare a variable, so we have what we call variable. Okay. And then we have what we call value. Okay. Now, in, in programming, we don't use the word this word that you see here, if maybe in normal mathematics, when you see this one, what comes to mind? Equal sign, it's right? equal to, yes. Yeah. But in programming, we don't say equal. You see assign. Assigned. Okay. Equal sign in programming means this. This. This is equal. The two equal sign, this one means equal. <laughs> okay. But the one equal sign, this one means assign. Assign. Okay. So it means that I'm assigning the value to a variable. Okay. Sure. So a value is the data, that is the information. And the variable is the storage where you want to keep your information. So if you have a pen drive and you slot your pen drive in your computer or whatever, you send the data, it means you are assigning that information to that pen drive. So anytime you put that pen drive off, your information is stuck on the pen drive. Okay, it's stuck in the pen drive. But if you want to retrieve the pen, the, the information, you need to what, slot the pen drive in either your computer or your phone, and then you'll be able to retrieve the data. Okay. Sure. So in the same principle. So once I assign the value to this one, now I can now call, anytime I call that variable, it just prints out the information that has been stored. I hope it's clear. Okay. Sure. So now, when we come to the data aspect, we say we have type of data that you can store. Okay, so there will be a different data that you can store. It's not all data are data. Okay, so if I have a data like type of data, like the basic principle that we have to do learn is the basic data type. Okay. Basic 
data sorry okay so basic data type we need to look at we call number the number data type or another word for number could be numeric okay numeric simply means number do you get it so a number data type or numeric data type okay and inside the number data type we have what they call integer and floats so we have what they call integer okay sure and floats okay so integer simply means a whole number okay so yeah. in numbering we have a whole number that is a number without a decimal word please yeah okay. and a floating point number is a number with a decimal point or a decimal place i hope it's clear so these are the sure. two there's one that maybe for now we might not focus our attention on it's called complex number okay so a complex number could be this okay so we have a complex and then we have this these are the two but for now we will focus more of the integer and the floats we will not focus on the complex number okay okay so now now we understand what a variable means okay and then we understand what a value means sure a minute so you mentioned the integer and then the flute but you didn't bring any comma between them was it deliberate which one the number type it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, because i'm just if you see that there's a uh, i just type uh a comment there so yeah so it's more like comments okay i don't mean Okay. okay, I thought that maybe they work together. That's why no, no. you okay. for a note that I'm giving because it's okay. not part of the programming itself. So that's yes. why it's okay. have all of the hashtag in front. Sure, to so, mean it's a comment. Okay. Yeah. So what I want you to get it understanding first, then we can okay. build it. We can build on it. Sure. Okay. So that's now fine. we have the hashtag. So these are that. Okay now before we can look at a variable so a variable may be a label so let's see if yesterday i think i gave an example right or uh, it may be not you. okay so what i'm seeing is that if i have a bowl okay yeah and then inside the bowl oh. i get a minute, eh? Mm -hmm. a, a minute. Yeah. Oh, oh, about laptop, no, so. Is it because of what's on it? Okay. Sorry. Ah, offer on WhatsApp. Ah, sorry. <laughs> so, bra, I'm not. Screen up for Apple, yeah. That's I don't like Apple. Eh? Navigation is easier for us. No, make us easier. Ah, okay. Let's exit full screen. Is it this one? This is one I know. You.
Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no challenge. Yeah, I don't want any challenge. Let's let me go back to my Windows and use it like that. So I'll just be alternating the tab okay. if I had to be typing. But what we are doing, whenever you are tab typing, I'm also typing on it and I'm watching you. It's it was easier following. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, it's it's all good. Okay. okay. So what I'll uh, do next time. Oh no, no, no what I'll do next time is that I'll do an extended screen. I'll just get a monitor and then extend it with my with my laptop. I think that's all. Get that. Yes. So yes. Yeah, you extend the video to the extended screen. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No one will be starting. So, yes. Mm. Okay. So um now what I was explaining, we 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 still at the variable state. Okay. So, so we were looking at the type of value that you can assign to the variable. Okay. So and I started with the basic data type. The data type is the data that can be assigned to the variable. Okay. Sure. Okay, so we have something called a naming convention. Okay, like I wanted to name my variable. Now, there's a convention that we need to follow. Okay, so for instance, I can start a variable by name, let's say, first. name so this is a variable the variable is first so that is the word first name okay but you can sure. can you the variable hello can you see my screen yes please okay so if i have a variable like first name like this it's okay but then it's not advisable to 
name and variable with all caps like that. Okay. Okay. So you can decide to do you can decide to do instead of first name with all caps, I can start with first. Okay, then I can use the next one, name, start with capital. Okay, so just to differentiate that, I'm dealing with two words, first and name. Okay, you can also go by this. Instead of first, I can do this. First, underscore, Name. Okay, so in that case, I'm just differentiating that I have two words first and name. Okay, so you can also do all these things. I can do that. this. Okay, so when you do this, the best way. It's either use the second one or the, the third one. Okay. But for me, I always prefer the, first, the third one. Okay. Okay. So, a minute, you said the first one is wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. You will not see any programming. The difference. Like yes. Okay. Yeah. So, it should be different. So, I. Okay. This one, the third one. Okay, but the second one, your your first, the first, the F is small caps. Was it intentional? I was thinking to differentiate. To differentiate the starting of the lead. Mm, okay, so the cap it comes into. Yeah, you just want that we are doing it, but ideally, all your variable name should be small letter. Okay. Something with small letters. Should start with small letters. Okay. Not small letters. So that's why I'm saying that. That I prefer that than that. Okay. So. Okay. And then you cannot start a variable with. It. So let's do what is acceptable. Then when we are done, we will move to what is not acceptable. I hope that is clear. Sure. Okay, so that is the first one. The next one, I can also do that. Start a variable with underscore. I can do underscore, underscore, or just one underscore, maybe underscore first underscore name. So, which is also accepted. Sure. You can also name a variable maybe number underscore one okay so i'm getting the different number number one but somebody maybe decide to do something like this number one okay but i prefer this one number and how is it? Please take me through again. I got distracted slightly on that same line. The first name and then the number. I got a bit distracted. I'm seeing that you can start naming a variable with underscore. Score. Okay. Underscore. So I can decide to start my variable name with underscore. So underscore. Score. Okay. okay. Accepted. Okay. Yeah, you can also use number one underscore one. It's accepted. That is okay. 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 Or somebody can decide to use number one. No. It's also okay. accepted. But okay. I, I get it. The one with underscore. Okay. 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 I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be clear. Oh, very clear. I'm clear. Okay. Now we can we can also add maybe a, a, 
a number in between whatever wants to is also accepted okay but what is not accepted is this you cannot start a variable name with a number so maybe number one underscore maybe something like this it's not accepted like if with a much working, can it be a number of things? Hello. Sure, I'm all yes. So if I gave you something like this, do an error. And what error do you see? Syntax error. Syntax of error. Invalid decimal. Yes. I told you about syntax. Yes. So yes. That error tells you that invalid was decimal literal yes because you cannot start a decimal that a number okay a decimal can be a number which yes first so that's why it threw that error to us so that is wrong okay sure Python does not recognize that but then if i change this one if i change this one and then i'll come to this side and then add number one underscore one. In this one, Python will accept it. Okay. Oh, okay. It. So we yeah. cannot start variable naming with a number. That is wrong. Sure. Okay. The next wrong that we can also think of is special characters. So if I start a special character like maybe a dollar sign in front of maybe number. Okay. This is also you will get you will receive a syntax error. You could see syntax sure. error value mm -hmm. syntax. Because yeah. you can start okay so and then not only starting with this you cannot add a special character within your variable name so for instance mm. i want to even start it and then i want to bring it in front let's see i want to bring it after the let's see so with this let's see you can see syntax error yeah so you can add a special character in your variable name that's what it means wow okay add it in your variable name. In the so in the character at all. In the special character. Special character. Okay. Yes. So there is no exception to that. Okay. Yeah. If it is maybe hyphen yeah. exclamation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can add all this special character. Okay. 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 I hope it's clear. It is clear, please. Now, one thing that you can also do is that if I have a word like let's say first then i'll do hyphen name okay this yeah. this is not accepted okay okay you can use hyphen in your variable naming so okay if you do this you receive Syntax, so you can see here syntax of error. Yeah, error, mm -hmm. not assign expression here. So, in that way, you see it thinking like you are trying to write <laughs> equal to, <laughs> equal or, to. <laughs> or assign. So it's thinking for you. Yes, yes, so when you let the language think for you, <laughs> and that is not exactly what you mean. You get by just assuming, okay, so it's a syntax error sure okay so you are violating the rule okay so we don't need to do that so instead of instead of hyphen you use what underscore 
right? Yeah. So if I do underscore, in that case, that is accepted. Okay. Sure. So if I do, you can see that nothing happened. Okay. Yeah. And then you can also start your variable name with with a space. So I say first, then space name. Mm. This is wrong. Okay, because these are two words. You should combine. Yes. So you should get something to combine that. You make the, the, the first one start with capital. Or, but you cannot leave a space. So a space can also be like a special character. You get it? <laughs> so wow. you do this. This one also throw an error. So you could see that syntax word error. That is invalid word syntax. You can't do that. Okay, so these are the naming conventions that you need to understand when you are naming your variable. I believe it's clear. Yeah. Okay, so now that we understand how to name a variable, let us assign a variable, a value to a variable. Because now we know the type of value that we can assign to the variable. Right? For now, I thought you were going to do one. I was. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now I can do something like this. Let's say number underscore one so number one assigned to one. Okay, it's a variable. So to have assigned a value to one towards number one. And yeah. then I can underscore two. Also assigned to okay. So these are all what these are all in this question. This is so much and no brothers. These are all integers. integers, yes, yes, yes. Integers, yes. Another one. So now and that's got three assigned to 4.5. So what 4.5? Floats. Floats. Float. Yeah. So if I want to check, for instance, if I'm using, let's say, Java, I need to fix my data type first and say maybe int. This is how Java works. So mm, this one will skip that. But Java, yeah. if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> the digital type by integer int then i will see number underscore one okay then mm. before i can come and assign the value to it so now i can see number <laughs> underscore one assigned to hey that makes it very difficult like laborious papa Assigned to one or two. So you can see here yeah, Python, you don't need to do all this. Okay. Mm. So by default, when you assign number, Python, okay. So let's see if I want to check the type of data, so I can say type. So type will let me check the type of data. So let's see if we want to check the type of data that is inside uh, number one. Okay, so to do that, you place it. This is a type function. When you check, when you check, so it's, a, it's a what function? Type function. Type. Type function. Okay. 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 So when you check the topic, here, we set D type. If you can see, you can see here, reviewing the 
a Python data type. type. So, so to check the data type for now, you know that automatically Python will assign it to a particular data type, but you don't know. Yes. Yeah. Even though I just mentioned that a whole number represents an integer, but you are not sure whether it's integer or not. But I guess as yeah. I said that, right? Sure. Sure. So now we can use the type function to just check exactly what type of data that has been assigned to number underscore one. So let's see. We check the variable. So we call this variable. So now I can check number underscore one. And then you can see here that it gives us a class what? Integer. Integer. So now it tells us that whatever that we assign to number one is an integer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can check for the number underscore three. Okay. So number underscore three. And then we come here to see what is the what is the float float okay yeah. so you can see that it's float mm. okay. anything decimal is a float okay anything decimal yeah. is what a float yeah anything decimal is a float okay if for instance i have let's say um three uh let's so Sorry. Okay, so anything decimal is a float. Okay, now one thing that we also need to look at if I just type maybe is let's see. Yeah, I will type here maybe is. I'm just doing my voice. Is married. Okay. And then I will say true. Okay. What this one means true or false in programming is. What we call boolean. Okay. okay. Two of boolean. Or zeros and one is also boolean. And then one represent true, zero represent false. Okay. So if you are okay. not if you are not married, then something is okay. For so either true or false. So if I come here and I want to check the type, okay, and see type. And see is um, is now you can see that it's showing the class of boolean okay so these are the basic data type integer float boolean okay these are the basics okay i hope it's clear sure Okay, 
So now, for us to our topic, we want to. Uh, Amen, please. Is it raining? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, please, I'm, I'm on. Okay. So, so look at the topic. What is Reviewing or reviewing the Python data types. So, where we need to understand what the data type is about. Okay. So, now we can look at something here. Sure. For now, we saw the class Boolean. You can see, you see the Boolean. We've seen the int. Okay. At the beginning, I've told you about the integer type, right? So sure. you can see so that I was talking about the int function, the float function. Okay, that is the number data type. So for now, if we want to, why, how come that pattern go to know that one stands for integer? Okay, so to know that we need to really understand the principle. So when we check with the type, now you can see that Python give us what the class word ends. If you can see here, class floats. So we can place this information in help function. So the help function gives us a documentation, more information about that particular class that we are talking about. So this is just that class, but we want to go into details and understand what is the rationale behind this, that Python was able to know that by default, if I assign any whole number, it's an yeah, if I assign point in this, if I say true, it is so. I just want us to do that. So now you can do help, and then we can place our class what we have here inside int. Okay. So if I type in int function, I believe you know that int function int simply means integer. Right? Yes. Okay. So if we do this, now we see that it gave us a lot of information. And you see, int is a help on what int object. So now, class int object. So one thing that we need to picture is that everything about Python is all about what? integer yeah okay, so everything about python is all about objects so that is why we see that python is what object oriented programming language so you think in terms of objects for instance the normal human being you may you may be a class okay and a class we have or even if let me put it a tree and a tree is the parent tree it has branches okay so that is a tree and then when we talk about biology a biology too we have classes i know you know the kingdom classes right sure for human what classes can we classify as Class animalia. Or... No, I'm talking about human being. Uh, are we not in class animalia? Mm -hmm. And then, so, what what do we classify mammals? 
Uh, hey. In fact, I've forgotten those biology things, but that I've done, I did. Uh, so, so we are, in terms of species, we are part of mammals, okay? And yes. the whole kingdom is unmade, but we human, we are... A kingdom, a kingdom, kingdom. yeah, okay. Are, in terms of classes, we belong to mama. Okay. Mammalia, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you could see that for us, there's some special, um, uh, what do you call, attributes that we are yeah. supposed to have, okay? So for instance, as a human being, you may have your attributes, and then based on your attributes, you also have your behavior, right? So your behavior will tell you what you are supposed to do. So sometimes when you do, do, do something, example, are you a human being? Do you get yeah. it? I hope you heard that before. Yeah. Are you a human being? Why? Because as a human being, we don't expect you to do, to do like some things. Yeah. You look at animal. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get it? We don't expect you to do something like that. Okay, so that comes in as your behavior. Okay, so your attributes will be like your, uh, what do you call the properties, what you have. So as we human, mama, we have head, okay, you may have your two eyes, you have your mouth, you have your two hands, you have two legs, okay, we don't, we don't have four legs, we have two legs. Okay, so what do we do? We use our leg, two legs to walk. To walk. Okay, sure. we use our hand, the two hand. We can use our hand, we can use to eat, we can use to climb, we can use to work. work. Okay, your mouth, use your mouth to eat, right? Your sure. nose is easy for smelling, okay, something, smell something, okay? So your eyes, use that one to also to see, okay? So this is... Uh, the various property that you have. And each property that you have is having a function, like a behavior, okay? Sure. So once you see here, we have the class. So a class here is an object. So anything that you want to do in programming or in Python, you think in terms of objects. So you can classify them, you can look at the properties. Okay, what are some of the functionalities? What I'm, I want to do? What are some of the functionalities that I need? So you can say, okay, this idea, these are the functionalities. Then you look at, okay, what are the behaviors that this functionality need to perform? And that comes in with what we call methods. Okay, so the methods are supposed to do that. So now you could see here, we have the class int object, and then we have integer. You can see the integer. And then you would say that this one is not base 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it tells you that we can convert a number or a string to integer. Okay. Or return zero if no argument are given. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can use this int function that you see here to convert other data type to an integer okay and then when you call this one without providing any argument to it the default is what zero okay so based on this python will be able to know that when i assign um any number to a variable with whole number is an integer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you get it? Uh -huh. sure. So that is the principle that this one is based on. Okay. Yeah. The same thing we can change from. Now you can see here this one that you see here. This is an integer. You can see it from base to any number that you want. Okay. So this is how the whole thing works, okay? So you can see here, these are methods. So methods are functions. So based on the integer, we can use for absolute value. You can see um, this one is ceiling, that is ceiling of interior return. We can use it for division, that is the division mode. 
Okay, so there's a whole lot of stuff that, that you can see here. So these are all methods, and the methods are the behavior. So that is the point, what it can do. Okay, so we'll go into details of that. But for now, what I really want you to understand is the first point. Okay, the first point that's because of the integer. Okay, Python will be able to know that when I assign a number to this, this definitely is an integer. Okay, so the same thing if I change here to a float. Okay, if I change here to a float like this, and I check this, you could see that Python will be able to tell us that this is a float, a class word float. And you see that here can convert a string or a number to a floating point if possible. So mm -hmm. this is something that will be able to know that part of the know that okay, this is a number. This one is an integer. This one is a string. For now, we've not done anything about string. Okay, but I just want you to really understand the basics of whatever that we are doing. I, I hope it's clear. Sure. Okay. So with that in mind, we can now focus on what we are doing. The other thing that I want us to look at is this. So if I assign a number, like let's see a number number one. Like this, okay. And then I will I do something like the uh, which is that I believe you know the directory. Sure. Okay. And I do number underscore one. So what the directory? What are these stuff? So like it's showing maybe the location where all the so yes this is a number then it can tell us a lot about so you can see here the directory just show inside the folder okay sure. the folder what exactly you have there i believe that you know what we just did this one yeah. the number one stands for what integer integer yeah okay so the integer class these are the folders these are where we went there i hope you saw all this method the seal i was showing to you yeah okay uh -huh. so here it's just giving us the folder what exactly that we can do with it okay okay so this within the the end class within this one this end class what i just did is the same thing like this because it's a, it's a class in teacher if you realize it it's the same thing if I do this. Okay, because when we check the type, it gives us this, right? So if I also do this, you see that the same thing came. I hope you can see that. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see that the same thing. This is the what I just did. This is the before. You can see it's the same. Okay. Yeah. So we provide an integer to this. Okay. It tells you that this integer has been represented by this. Okay, if it's a float, it's the same thing. So now we move to the directory. The directory means that we want to check the integer folder. What are the contents? So now you'll be able to see that they just given out the contents, the directory that they have the bit counts, bit length. Okay, it has now numerator. Okay, he has the fruit bytes, he has denominator, okay, conjugates. So there are a lot of stuff that is here. So all these ones are rare number, you can see rare number and all those things. Run and all those. So these are the content of the folder. That's the directory. 
I hope it's clear. Sure. Okay. So maybe if I want to learn how to use this content or the directory, then you can, instead of using the Dell, you can use help. Sure. Okay. So the help will give you more information, information. about this directory. So sure. if you in the same this one is the same as me using the end, they are the same. So sure. so now if I type in, I realize that it's giving us more information. So you can see that it's not telling us that these are methods. So you can see here underscore underscore and all the information that we were seeing. I hope you saw the seal, the seal yes. of interior itself. So now it just giving us more information about them. They tell us all these ones are methods. Okay, and I see that the methods are behavior. So a class is having a property and what method. Okay, so the point I want to get to this is that any idea that you have, whatever that you want to do, you think in terms of what a class okay class. which okay. you can now look at which you can now think of some of the uh maybe the attributes okay that is supposed to if i see attributes i'm talking about the the properties that maybe your idea should have then look at okay based on this idea let's look at the behavior how it will perform and those behaviors will get into what the methods like the way you are seeing there we go into details when you get to class we'll be treating class you understand yeah. but here just for you to get a general overview of everything yeah. okay so based on this now we understand how to assign um a value to a, a, a variable if we now understand the naming convention of a variable Okay, how we should name them. Okay, and then we also understand how to assign different data types to a variable. And if I want to confirm the type of data that I've assigned to the variable, we can use the type function, okay, to check the type of data. And when we confirm it, and maybe we want extra information about that, we need the help function. We need the help function to get all those information. So now we understand that when you assign any info, any integer to a variable, Python knows it because of the class and because the class is having different words. Uh, that that and that, that will be able to perform that thing based on they do this. That is the main reason why Python does all those things. Okay. So our next, we will look at, we will look at collection data type. Okay, so that is what we'll be looking at. So with the collection data type, I'll be talking more about string. This, this is string. Okay, we'll be talking about lists. We will be talking about dictionary. We will be talking about tuple. We will be talking about sets. Okay. So we will end here. If you have to you in the same line, you can take them and go to it. You can see the variable, assign a value to the variable. And here you can see a string by intentionally a string based on something. Okay. But anything within the code is a string. Anything within the code is a string. Okay. So whatever that you see, it is the same. Okay. Now I'll take time and 
and explain to you the next time we meet. Okay, for sure. for numeric data type, I've done that. Numeric sure. data type is what we call media and the flow. And flow. Okay. Sure. I've already explained to you. And then I've explained to you the rationale behind why you should be able to get that. And then uh, what the Boolean type I'm going to it more. So unless we, once we are done with this, we can go to the Boolean. Sure. Okay. So we could even rush back, but I think it's better you get the basic understanding that then we yes, can rush. I'm, I'm, yes, yes, yes. For me, as I said, I don't even believe in the rushing because I've told you I'm going in for the long haul. So I'll rather get it very well, to stand it very well than to rush, just to finish it early. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because I want to be like an expert in the... Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So do you have any question based on what we... Okay, for now, no, I think, say, when we finish, I'll have to take my time, read the notes and go through. But if you don't do it and then you wait and come again, it's like you are piling up without revising it. It doesn't really work sure. for me. Uh -huh. Especially now that there are a lot of things that I'm doing. Uh -huh. That really occupies me. So if I don't revise and I come, I virtually get, uh -huh. I have a lot of things that I'm, I'm in charge of the oncology pharmacy at 37. So, you know, you have a lot of, apart from working directly you have a lot of admin rules that you are uh, mm. supervising people uh -huh. so that is one mm. thing that i have to really work on so that uh, oh. i can really master the thing but i like the way you are going about it it's step by step and if i apply myself uh, i shouldn't have a problem the next discussion will be with my wife uh -huh, because she seems to like it uh, and she has a better flair at a computer than myself she she has a oh. way around computer better yes so uh yeah, yes, i believe it's something that if she learns what, 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 what work does she also do she, she's a medical laboratory officer uh, so you are in the medical the health yes <laughs> you are in 